Listen, when you become born again, God gives you his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is given to us as a guarantee that we are God's children. Jesus did not leave us without a helper when he was leaving the earth. He said that he will ask the Father to send us his Holy Spirit. And now, when you receive Jesus into your life, the Holy Spirit is also given to you to guide you and help you run your Christian race effectively. For every child of God, God has deposited his spirit in you. And there are three amazing things that will happen to anyone that has the Holy Spirit working in their lives. But before we begin, please if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and help us promote the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number 1. The New Birth Experience this experience is being cited in the Bible. How that many Christians who received the Holy Spirit were changed into different persons. In John chapter 3 verse 3, the Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And in verse 6, it says that whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. You cannot be born of the spirit and have the character of the flesh. Many Christians have the new birth experience. They have received a change of heart. It is so beautiful to experience because when you experience this, everyone around you will also notice the change. When the Holy Spirit is in your life, you will have a different reality. Your behavior will change. Have you seen someone who easily hates people? But as soon as the Holy Spirit entered into their lives, they started loving people. It's the power of the Spirit that is available to every believer. The entrance of God's Spirit produces His fruits. And you must yield every day so that these fruits can be expressed more and more in you. The proof of the presence of the Holy Spirit in a person's life is the presence of the fruits. You know a tree by its fruits. Jesus said it this way, you shall know them by their fruits, not the gifts. The love of God expressed in and through your heart is one proof that the Spirit of God resides in you. Everyone in the Bible that had an encounter with him had a change of character. If you were shy before, you become bold. If you were impatient and always worried, you become patient. If you were hateful of yourself and how you look, he comes and expresses love through you. Apart from the fruits, he makes us aware that we are children of the Most High God. His presence reassures you of who you are and what you mean to God. When the Holy Spirit enters into us, He opens our eyes to the truth of God's Word. The Bible is not just a historical book or a book where you read different kinds of stories. The Bible is a spiritual and prophetic book. And because it is spiritual, you cannot read it carnally and understand it. 
It takes the Spirit of God to open us to the truth of God's Word. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, the Apostle Paul was writing that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling and what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. The Bible will only make sense to the believer who always engages the Holy Spirit during his study time. In the book of Joel chapter 2, God was saying that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and my sons and daughters will have visions, and their old men will dream dreams. You see, in these last days, we need the Holy Spirit more than ever before. We need the undeniable and infallible truth of God's word clearly revealed to us because you see, there are many false doctrines that have gone into the world and many people are falling into the traps of those deceptions. The Holy Spirit is the one that opens your eyes and makes God's truth becomes light in our lives. Anyone can try to say something from God's word, but only those who are truly filled, and I mean completely filled, can speak like an oracle of God. Many years ago, I found a certain man who has been in church for a long time telling me that he doesn't believe the Bible is real and I tried to convince him of the infallible truth of God's word and after many attempts of preaching to him he couldn't still believe and so I went home. I knew that it's only the Holy Spirit that can make the Bible true to a believer and so I started interceding for him. After a few weeks I found him one day in the church crying and reading the Bible and he said to me that he thought he was right by not believing until one day a voice began to speak to him and since that day he can't stop reading the Bible. You see that that voice was the voice of the Holy Spirit. He is inside of you now. And I want you to take full advantage of his ministry and allow him to express himself in you. Number three, the thing the Holy Spirit will do in you is found in Romans chapter 8 verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. This is perhaps one of the greatest revelations God has given to me. When the Holy Spirit is inside of you, he quickens your bodies. Many Christians are not aware of this power in the Holy Spirit. One of the things you will experience is not only the newness of your spirit but also of your own very mortal body. He makes you more beautiful than you look. If you pay attention to those people around you who are filled with the Holy Spirit, you will notice that there is also a change in their physical appearance. He can raise a dead body condition back to life. He is the spirit of life and he gives life to any part of a believer that is dead. Just like you can try to feel motivated in the morning and find out that the motivation lasts for a few minutes or hours. But if the Holy Spirit would motivate you, 
He will quicken you to be alert even more than anything you can watch or listen to. Let me at this point say one thing about the Holy Spirit that I really love and have experienced. The Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Bible proves it in Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth in our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. I want you to allow the Holy Spirit to work on your weakness and then watch your strength grow like that of an eagle. If you have had an experience with the Holy Spirit, please leave a comment and let us know about your own experience with the Holy Spirit. God bless you.